When I was a small child, I had told everybody that I was going to, when I was about five, that I was going to be in a circus, I was going to be a bareback rider, a trapeze artist, um, a, a, an acrobat, a clown, an opera singer, a ballerina, and an actress. I decided all of these things when I was five that I wanted to do. And I, I, I think I knew that my dream was that I probably wouldn't do all of them. Well, I thought I was going to do all of them then, but I wouldn't do all of them. But I definitely knew I was going to do at least one of them. And actually ballet was the thing I wanted to do, and ballet was my greatest love and still is, because I would have loved to have been a prima ballerina. But I discovered by the time I was 16 that I wasn't going to be good enough. So decided to act. But I think the way I, I think I've always wanted to reinvent myself. I have become a trape trapeze artist. I did when I was 62. I, I learned trapeze. And I'm about to do it again because I've decided when I'm 80, which is in three years' time, I'm going to bring back that show and I'm going to do that show again with the trapeze at the end of it. And I'm starting to have lessons next week. So in the next three years, I'll be ready to do that. And there have been lots of things, magic tricks, all sorts of things that, that and I think that people say they want to do something and then they they give up you know they they work to live but i live to work and i think it's i think i'm extremely lucky i think the people that have that and do that in their lives are extremely lucky and anybody can do that but you have to have such tenacity you've got to have courage and tenacity and say i won't give up because it's hard along the way but I'm just, I feel very fortunate that I've lived a life of doing something that I really love doing and that I can reinvent parts of it and do different things. So that's how I've tried to live my life. But I actually feel that without work, I wouldn't exist. I mean, I don't ever want to retire because as long as I'm healthy enough and I can learn the lines and walk two paces, at, you know, see two paces ahead of me, then I will always want to work because, I, because it's been a lifetime's vocation for me.